and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout Aggro. Gonna start our day off. We got all donation decks today on this Tuesday morning. And we're going to be starting with a deck that's pretty popular right now with Scouts. So this deck is not really trying to interact. We have two Rangers Resolve and two Single Combat. Those are our only spells. We are just trying to curve out and just beat the opponent down real fast. So the definition of an aggro deck. We do have two great six drops at the top end with Scythria and Genevieve. Of course, both of our champions are very impactful with Quinn and Misfortune. We are going Bannerman here. There are um, nine cards that could have Bannerman miss with Jagged Butcher, Misfortune, and a Petty Officer. But those are all just very good cards to play. So that's just kind of how it is. But lots of one drops. Try to get ahead and have some real big finishing power. It's not too much to the deck, but it is still very strong and efficient. So we're going to go ahead and play our five games in ranked, and we'll see how we do with those. Here we go. Uh, KX. Hello. And of course, Ronin and everybody else that are, that's already in here. Welcome, welcome. We got a Nightfall deck. Nightfall's pretty cool. We don't play against enough, enough Nightfall these days. Possible I should just keep the Rangers Resolve since we have such little spells that like we would you know have a really good chance of having the um, you know like the Rangers Resolve is going to be good and we have a small chance of drawing other spells that would um, replace the Rangers Resolve. Their sense travels on the night air. All right, not bad, not bad. So that's gonna take out my three-two for free. Night descends. Face your heretic. But we're gonna play the misfortune and take out their two-one for free. Now with the fleet feather tracker, which is why I wanted to save the fleet feather tracker. Fortune favors the bold. Night flowers upon my blade. The promise of a new moon upon you, bloom tender. Guns it makes sense to attack with this. They could trade it for, like, Diana and Pale Cascade. They could kill my Misfortune. But it would kill their champ... You know, we would trade champions and get a trick out of their hand. It probably makes sense to do that. Okay, you have... You thought that the new card for the Fallen has actually worked pretty well. That's a card that I didn't that I thought would be a good expedition card, but not really a good constructed card. That'd be too expensive and slow for that, but I could definitely be wrong. Embrace the darkness. RV. Getting that misfortune is going to be a problem. One of that misfortune alive for sure. Harvey. Hey. Over here. You picked the losing side. We have challengers that can take down both of their champions right now. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Diana is going to be easier to level up than the Nocturne. So if they would keep Diana alive, like if I challenge the Nocturne first, but we'll probably kill it, and then we go challenge the Diana, then they keep Diana alive. If they keep Diana alive here. I still have the Challenger to still take out Diana, and we still take out Nocturne. So on. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking about challenging the Diana first. <laughs> the 
barks are pretty scary when you have your headphones on. Yeah, and I've been, I've been, uh, since, I've, since I'm now spending all the time editing the YouTube videos, I've been trying to edit out the barks from the YouTube videos. You know, I'm not saying that I've been perfect with that, but I've edited out a lot of them over the last couple of days. Whoa, Bob with the donation deck. Thank you, Bob. Ooh, Shipwreck Hoarder goodness. Yes. That is definitely a card that I love to see. Thank you, Bob. All right, cool. It didn't get to activate another Nightfall card. Good. And Bipolar with a resub. Crazy windstorm here today. Hopefully everyone else is having an uneventful Tuesday. One thanks for the resub. I hope you stay safe with the crazy windstorm. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got a bunch of things attacking me. And they're all scary. Got you in my sights. If we block here, we go to seven. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, Bob with a donation Our deck for Shipwreck Order. I guess it was safer just to block with my 6-6. Six -six. But then again, I think my 6-6 six -six is more valuable for attacking in here with the pluses. Yeah, they finally had that Pale Cascade that we've been talking about the whole time. gonna go to two and challenge this this is gonna go to let's see we're gonna challenge this oh I don't know why I'm, I didn't mean to attack with that two four whoops oh well Meet destiny. interesting Cloaked in silver light. I will take that trade Well, I guess I shouldn't take that trade because I'm going to die to this Overwhelm, aren't I? I would still die to the Overwhelm. Even if I didn't attack with that 2-4, I'd have a 2-2, two -two, and so I'd still die to the Overwhelm anyway. If only we drew single combat. No, single combat wouldn't work because overwhelmed. Never mind. <laughs> and that a, a Rangers resolve at, at one point, I don't know exactly where, but at one point could have been really clutch. Stink of blood and sweat. Jacket Butcher is a one mana 2 2. Most of the time. Sometimes later on it will be better than that. Spice. But this deck needs to get ahead without. Since it doesn't have any spells, it can't play from behind. So you need to get ahead, so you need to have a lot of one drops to help get ahead. And that's what Jacket Butcher can do. That's why we're playing. The butcher to help get ahead. I'm actually here. If I play Bannerman and then they play Trundle, um, I'm still getting a lot more than seven damage in, and we're now we're not hurting the Trundle, but then we're killing one of our things. I think it's worth it. To me. The trolls are going to war. I could definitely see them blocking war chefs. The 
Which if they do, I could save Warshafts with Ranger's Resolve. Which is probably worth it. Basically, I'd turn Ranger's Resolve into a 3-1 Warshafts. Um, that's probably worth it, especially since um, we can make that a 3-2 the next turn with Bannerman. <laughs> That's nice, Capo. Yeah. That's nice. All right. Well, now we're gonna we're gonna have the extra spot for the Genevieve Elmhart. Sure. Hope we hit again with Bannerman. Wow. We lucky. We have drawn so many Demacia cards, and so there's still you know eight more Bilgewater cards in here. So it's not game if I go straight to attacks. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. So we're gonna be playing Genevieve Elmhart first. I'm sorry. And now it's game. I can block one thing, take 14. And this is what our deck is all about. It's just about curving out. Having just an amazing curve and you know being being really aggressive. All right, Twist of Fate, Gangplank. Very similar to the Twist of Fate Swain deck, just using a little bit different top end with Gangplank instead. Definitely going to keep Ranger's Resolve. I like both of those cards, but you know we wanted to start off earlier. We're definitely keeping Ranger's Resolve. If I did not have the attack token turn one, I would be passing and not even playing Fleet Feather Tracker. But we do have the attack token turn one. I don't know if I should trade this. I... Maybe not. The reason to trade is make it rain. The reason not to trade is all this other stuff. Misfortune, Bannerman, all that kind of stuff. Alright, well... I don't want to have them turn on Plunder easily and level up Gangplank and all that stuff, so I guess we're trading. Warshaps, I need you last turn. No Mega Rain. Keep up, keep up. No prey, no pay. Through the coral. I'll buy us some time. I know what I'm doing. If I didn't have Ranger's Resolve, I would not be blocking, but we have Ranger's Set Resolve, so we're going to block. We again have only seen one. No, we've seen two. We've seen two Bilgewater cards so far. One banner, one Yay. We have three six mana cards. We need to just kind of keep going with those. This could be a bad attack. Like, maybe I'm supposed to just wait for Cythria the next turn. But I like getting damage in and, and getting things out of play for them. Like, you know, like just like getting stuff out of here. Treasures of the ages for a price. 
Sathria. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Awesome, they missed. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. That's another great turn for them. This'll send them running. Don't back down. I think I do. I mean, honestly, I think that we're fine in a later game with all these cards. We know they have a Noxus card on top, so it's probably like Noxian Fervor. Follow my lead. These woods belong to us. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't do anything here, can I? Just awful. That was completely devastating, that Noxian Guillotine. That was the Noxus card on top, um, too. Got a surprise for him. Oh, completely devastating. Not Riptide Rex, that's good. For some reason with Call of the Mountain, they just decided to not print fast cards. Block with the 2-2 two -two to kill Grizzled Ranger. Oh, I meant to do Genevieve Elmhart also. Oh man, what am I doing? Uh, it's just the... Oh, man, <laughs> I should have. Oh well. I guess we're going to do this now. So we hope no Gangplank and no Riptide Rex, please. That's for like Black Market Merchant. All that firepower for little old me. You stay at three. All right, Grizzled Rangers. Gotta go with the flow. Y'all can get there. They could definitely have Noxion Fervor now after the Spray Fin, and saving this single combat will pay off. Could be the case. Codex. Yep. Doing great. Charmed, I'm sure. So 
basically everything trades. Need lots of cheap cards. Definitely need lots of cheap cards. I'm leading with Scythria of Cloudfield on turn one. And then Bright Seal Protector on turn two. Because on turn three, we're going to have the attack token, and I want to play Fleet Feather Tracker and Bright Steel Protector on turn three um, together. Because I don't want to play Tracker. They play their one drop. I, attra I attack with Tracker. They block. And we trade one drops there. I want to have that later on. But against a deck as aggressive as theirs, I definitely want to have all ones and twos, and so I like keeping that hand of all ones and twos. Get a free kill. My shield is yours. Doesn't really matter which one I kill. I guess the fearsome is better than the non-fearsome. We will kill the fearsome, but figure that what you know, whatever we try to kill, they're gonna block the other. I think they'll block with the other on a three-two, so it doesn't really matter. Card used to be a lot better before the rewording. I'll write my own story. So I put the petty officer out there first to have the fearsome blocker to try to scare him from attacking, but they attacked anyway. But then, of course, I want to have my 3 2 attacking them and have my 2 1 challenge. So put him down to 1. This is why you play all the Scythrias and Jagged Butchers, so you can just have all of these one-drops and be able to flood the board and out-aggro the aggro decks. That's the plan. Hopefully we can finish this out from here. My strength is yours! Getting their drain on. This will shake up. Boom. I'm I'm ready. We're at eight. Probably should just go straight to combat with everything. Probably. I guess if, if we do this, all they have to do is have like a one removal spell for the Zonite Urchin. Wait, that's actually bad for me. Alright, never mind. Because if they just have a removal spell for something stay alive, then they can have then they have another turn where they can have decimates and things like that and finish me out. You know, we have to make sure that we're winning this turn. In a long path to get you. And that's what Scythria will do. There's nothing to fear. My steel is yours. Okay, GG's. Let's get that winning record. 
Ooh, we're playing against a, another kind of scout deck. They're going Noxus for spells. Well, we have Demacia for a bunch more units. So let's... We got to out-aggro them. We got a 1-2-3. We'll keep this 1-2-3. And then another 3. New recruit reporting. Likely going Petty Officer on turn 3, not Misfortune. Likely. We're definitely going War Chefs, not Bright Steel Protector now. That's a good draw. Maybe I do go Misfortune. We're just going to do the best play. We'll worry about turn 4 and turn 5 when we get there. Yep. Expecting that. Feel the sizzle! It's honestly possible that I should have gave the Bright Seal Protector to the Warshaz. Okay, glad we didn't. Misfortune first. It found you. I need more I'll do my best. Can't fight on an empty stomach. It's gonna have the, the misfortune be a four four, so it will survive. Been a lot better if we got the Jagged Butcher and they got the Sinister Poro. That would have been a lot better. But we're still doing good. Now we're getting into our six mana cards. Remember me, you bastard. No. I'll defend these forests to the end. I'm gonna play the Genevieve Velmhart over the Cythria. So that I command you to halt! So that we have better blocks like on these things. Um, you know, be able to have like my Cythria be able to run into their precious pets. And so on. In a long path to get here. Aren't any gods here? Just me. So that's six if they don't have a removal spell. So glad that hit. Because if that whiffed, that would have been a little rough for us. So we should be good here. They only have two blockers. No cars in hand. I got three attackers as far as like the fearsome things go. We can have three attackers. It. 
Thanks, Raisin. Thank you. Wanted wrath. Show them our metal. All right. Let's get our fearsome bannermen. Finish the game. You and me. Let's go. All right, GGs. And there we go. The nice three and two. That's pretty nice. It's you know pretty straightforward games and uh, uh, very fast, very fast games. It's just player things, attack. Um, nice little, nice little deck, and it's just um, you know it's really powerful. Like these these things are just kind of playing the best things on curve that you can. I like having nine one drops. I think that's really important of getting ahead and staying ahead. Of having all of those one mana cards, that's really nice. And then I was wonder, I was worried if like three Sithria plus three Genevieve would be too much at the top end. Like maybe if like one of the Sithria should be like another single combat or something like that. But I think that it makes sense to have all of those. And and they were really good, just being able to whenever turn six hap happens, be able to drop one of these on turn six and another on turn seven, and then maybe even another on turn eight. Um, so even if your opponent can stay alive from the first, and maybe the second and the third is going to get them. I think that makes sense. And yeah, there we go. Good old, good old scout aggro. Grizzled Ranger was really nice. Just a good, solid deck. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some scout aggro, and I'll see you for the next video.